here are the observations for the spectroscopy lab. These observations will verify the theory that light can be broken into its color components. The component light will depend on the materials involved and or composition. We have a variety of light sources we are going to be doing the observations on using a spectroscope. This is the eyepiece end of the spectroscope that you will look through. At the other end, there is a targeter, this narrow slit, and to the right is going to be the spectral opening with numbers. When you are pointing the spectroscope towards a light source, make sure to point the targeter directly at the light while moving your head to look to the side in the direction of the spectral opening. In your observations, you need to take a note of first just the overall naked eye color of each light. Then you look through the spectroscope and observe the spectrum. Make sure to take careful note what are the individual colors you are seeing. And if possible, check what numbers those colors correspond to. Those will be the wavelengths of light in 100 nanometer increments. Your observation work should look like this for each light. The name of the light source, for example, if this is a specific element, you put the name of the element, the overall color, and then the observed spectral lines as you saw them. Put the relative wavelengths beneath. This would be an example of an emission spectrum. Make sure to watch your step as the room will be darkened for the observations. The first light is an incandescent light. That means it is solid state and its color is primarily determined by temperature rather than composition. Start by observing the overall color. Then let's observe it through our spectroscope. Notice that you just see the light through the targeter in the center, but off to the right, you see the spectrum for the light. Above it are the numbers. Next, we will have hydrogen. Again, start by observing the overall color.
Next is helium. Start by observing the overall color. Now to the right of it, observe the spectrum. Neon. Observe the overall color. Now observe the spectrum to the right of it. Mercury. Observe the overall color. And there's the spectrum. While the incandescent light gave us an example of a continuous spectrum, and the four gas tubes gave us examples of emission spectra, we don't actually have a directly available example of an absorption spectrum in this lab. The real life example would have been sunlight. The solar spectrum looks like a superposition of the continuum spectrum of an opaque object and cooler gases producing thin dark lines in front of that spectrum.